Shalom, 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 shalom. All right. Before we even get started, first and foremost, I want to start by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone who rule well. And third, I want to give salutations to all the occupants of the hopeful elect that are pushing forth this word and the truth and righteousness and sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, shalom, shalom. I'm Brother Ka of GMS South Carolina Midlands Branch. And pretty much, man, you know, it's getting off the plantation a little early. All right, so this right here is going to be an in-transit video. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and read this one scripture here. And then I'm going to go ahead and expound on it until I get to my destination. So here we go. So I'm going to get uh, 2 Corinthians. Let me get 2 Corinthians here. All right. Bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. Get 2 Corinthians. And we're going to read verses chapter 4 and we're going to grab verses 3 and 4 all right this right here second uh corinthians uh 4 verses 3 second corinthians 4 verses 3 and i'm gonna read verse 4 as well too all right second corinthians 4 and 3 but if our gospel be hid it is hid to them that are lost and showing you that this word in the truth is not for everybody at the end of the day all right this knowledge is understanding all right, is only given to the elect, all right, of the nation of Israel. Yahweh Shemal Rashad, pursuing back to, I'm not going to even quote it, I'm just going to go ahead and grab it, all right. Amos 3 and 7, all right. Surely the Lord God, Yahweh Shemal Rashad, would do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So only the elect going to be able to obtain this knowledge and his understanding, man. All right, and, and and going back to Romans 11 and 7, this truth is only for the elect. So that's a cut showing you that Yahweh Shema Rashad ain't dealing with no every damn body, man. All right, going back to Romans 11, verse 7, man. It says, what then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. Israel, speaking of you so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans, all right, the, the, uh, through the seed of your father, which determined your nationality, man. All right, which represent the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. So this knowledge and understanding the mysteries of these scriptures, prophecy, prophecy. Jake don't understand it. Don't, they'll have no clue when it comes to prophecy, man. Because Yahweh Shema Shah ain't dealing with all Israel. He only dealing with the elect, the servants of Yahweh Shema Shah, to be exact. Romans 11 and 7, what then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for? All right, because ultimately Israel trying to seek for the truth, salvation. All right, you know what I'm saying, you know? But, but the election have obtained it, the elect, the elect, okay, of the nation of Israel, which are uh, great millstones, starting the elders apostles to the elder bishops on down to all the, you know what I'm saying, all, you know, the elders of 07 on down to us, man. All right, you know, we the only one that preach on the elect, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? Other Israelite camps, they talking about the nation, the nation of Israel. And then you got other clown ass Israelite groups out there. They want to save the damn heathens too, man. All right, they want to open up salvation for the fucking heathens, which all that's fucking off, man, at the end of the damn day. Salvation only for Israel and the elect of Israel going to obtain salvation at that, bro. Okay? Romans 11 and 7. What then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. Which were two thirds. All right. This is who this is who the gospel, you know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shemal Shah hid this truth from, man. All right. This way he hid the gospel. He hid the gospel from two thirds, man. They have no fucking understanding. They're not measuring the time, man. All right, you know? Um uh, uh I'm gonna expound on it. I'm gonna go ahead and just read it and expound on it. This right here is second Corinthians. Four verses three. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, which is two thirds, man, all right, of Israel, in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Mashiach, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine unto them. So Yahweh Shah, he blinded, which we read in Romans 11 and 7, man, two thirds of Israel. They are blinded. Let me read verse four again. In whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, Yahweh lest the light of the glorious gospel of Mashiach, who is the image of Yahweh Shemal should shine unto them, man. All right, you know? So let's go ahead. You know what I'm saying? We're about to go ahead and get the riding. This is an in transit video. I'm just going to expound on it, man. Yeah. Because you know what I'm saying? When you talk about, like, 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 for example, man, something basic like the end of the world. See, Jake. 
don't even know, you know, it's talking about the end of the world, eons, all right, which means a particular, you know what I'm saying, ending of an age, all right, of Esau, all right, and Esau, which is a so-called white man, all right, you know what I'm saying, you know, he's, like the scripture says, 2nd Edward 6 and 9, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. So when, you know what I'm saying, when we talk about the end of the world, it's not actually talking about, you know what I'm saying, the earth itself, because the scripture tell you, you know what I'm saying? The earth abided forever at the end of the day, man. So it's not talking about the, the world itself. The world going to be destroyed. You know what I'm saying? The world of Esau ass is going to be freaking destroyed, man. He's going to be taken out of power in which he's ruling right now, man. Okay? You know what I'm saying? He's ruling right now. He's never been ruling the last, what, 500 damn years or whatever. And you how about you, man? I was shy. Going back to 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8, where it goes into the wicked shall be revealed. And the wicked has been revealed going all the way back to 1969, where it started with the spirit of Elijah coming back in reincarnation through Alba Bivens. All right. You know what I'm saying? You know, so, you know what I'm saying? Which the spirit, you know what I'm saying? Or you how about you, Shah, You know what I'm saying? In Malachi, the fourth chapter, it tells you that Elijah had to come back and bring us back to our fathers, man. All right. Back to our heritage, man. OK. At the end of the day. All right. So that started with Elder Alba Bivens going on the highways and byways. All right. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, uh, the 12, you know what I'm saying? Bringing out that Esau, so-called white man. He the damn devil that the Bible speaks of. All right. You know what I'm saying? A you know, Elder Albert Bivens, you know, like I said, going on the highways and byways, going into the old and, and, and the New Testament. All right. Because when you had going back to commandment keepers, those was Jacob that knew they was Israel, but they were following them damn Jewish, the, the, the damn ish people, which they was fucking going off. All right. You know what I'm saying? You know, and they was uh, back then they was preaching that. The, the so-called white man come from damn Jaffa and shit, man. Which that's a fucking lie. So-called white man, they're Edomites, man. Okay, you know what I'm saying? They're the wicked that the Bible speaks of in um, Malachi one and four. All right, you know. Now is Esau is he a Hebrew? Yeah, he a Hebrew, but he's not a Hebrew. A Hebrew, he ain't no Hebrew Israelite. He, he came from Isaac. All right, you know what I'm saying? He come from the, the he, he's a he's a he's a he's a he's a uh, he's Shem he's 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 a Shemite. <laughs> all right, he's a Shemite. All right, he, he's Shemitic. He's Shemitic at the end of the day, but 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 he's not the chosen seed though. Okay, all right, you know you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he came from Isaac, but the, the scripture tell you, you know what I'm saying? You know the elder shall serve the younger. The blessing was gonna lie with who? Jacob, man. All right, that's why Rebecca knew that you know what I'm saying Jacob, you know what I'm saying was gonna be the chosen seed, man. That's why she, you know what I'm saying, she played her part in, in making sure that Jacob got that blessing, all right, you know, from our forefather Isaac, man, which we know Isaac, that was Yahweh Shah in a reincarnation at the end of the day. So Yahweh Shah, you know what I'm saying, you know, Jacob got that blessing, which was already preordained, but it is um, Esau, he got his blessing, which was a sword, and he got his time to rule as well, too, all right, you know, so the same power, Yahweh Shah, you know what I'm saying, who gave this damn devil you know what I'm saying? The power of the sword. Yeah, how about your mouth the same power? They're gonna take this damn devil out of freaking power and we coming into that time. But Jake in the world, they don't have no understanding of that, bro. They don't know, oh, the white man, y'all just call the white man the damn devil, the white man the damn devil. They don't know that ultimately the super elite, and when I'm talking about the so-called white man, you know what I'm saying, when we're referring to, you know what I'm saying, knowing who we are, the true children of Israel, I'm talking about Esau, the, you know what I'm saying, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, you better know they know who the true children of Israel is, man. They paid all this money to compress the truth. So why you think when they took on our nationality? And if they know who we are, they know who they are. They know they're the damn, they know they're the Edomites of the Bible, man. They know that. All right, you know, and the Rothschild, the name Rothschild means red shield. What what scripture tell you in Genesis? Esau came out what red? He came out red all over, man. You know what I'm saying? Because why? Because he has no melon, man. All right, he has no melon. His blood show forth through his skin, man. All right, because he has no melon at the end of the day or whatnot. He's the pale man. He's the true red man at the end of the damn day. Jake don't even have that understanding of knowing why. You know what I'm saying? The wicked, which is Esau, why he hate us, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? You know why he tried to weaponize the water, the, the, the damn fucking air, you know what I'm saying? The fucking food, you know what I'm saying? You know, it, the damn products that you use is soap, fucking soap, goddamn lotion, this damn devil, you know what I'm saying? Weaponizing every fucking thing. Why? To destroy us as a nation of people, Israel, man. Because of the blessing, because of the blessing, man. But Jake don't know that. They don't know who the hell they are, man. And they care not to know who they are. And they don't know the significance and the benefit of being Hebrew Israelites, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, being, hey, being a Hebrew Israelite, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, we God's chosen people, bro. 
We the greatest people on this fucking planet at the end of the damn day. We are the true royalty, man. All right, at the end of the damn day. Yeah, how about Shemal Rashad? All right, you know what I'm saying? He's going to set Israel up, you know what I'm saying? You know, above all nations, bro. All right, and we above all damn nations, but that prophecy going to fulfill. We up under these damn curses right now, man. We at the goddamn bottom now. All right, you know what I'm saying? But going back to Deuteronomy 30 and 7, man. Going back to Deuteronomy 30 and 7, these curses, they're going to come upon our enemies at the end of the day, man. The curses going to fall upon our enemies, man. Yeah, how about your mouth shot? Going to take the curses off the elect. And which we're coming in that time, man. All right, them curses are going to get pulled off the elect. All right, and those curses going to be on goddamn Esau, man, along with the other heathen nations, man, which are our enemies, and which you can read that in Psalms 83rd chapter, where it goes into naming all our enemies. And Esau, the number one culprit, man, named Esau twice. Not only named Esau as a nation, but also named the head tribe of Esau Amalek, man, in Psalms 83rd chapter. The devil's that responsible for sponsoring, you know what I'm saying, our slavery, bro. And Esau, the one that sponsored fucking slavery, man. You know what I'm saying? Had us scattered throughout the four corners, which that's Bible prophecy at the end of the day. But Jay, like I said, man, they're lost to the fact of who they are. But you about to find out though, because with Revelation 12 and 12, when Esau come with that great wrath, all right, you know what I'm saying? Because he knows his time is short. And and, and, and you, how about your mouth is not going to have no mercy on these blockhead Jake because, you know, even though like we read in uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and 3, that his gospel is hid, his gospel is hid, but then it's not here, man, because you how about Shemal Shah? He have he had he had a prophecy right in front of their fucking face, man. But it's here as far as the knowledge and the understanding. Cause when Jake see us out there on the highways and byways, you know what I'm saying? They, they you know what I'm saying? They look at us like we just, you know, regular Jake. We 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 peons and you know y'all 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 just y'all just angry black men or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? You wanna use the excuse of blaming the so-called white man for every damn thing or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? You know, Jake don't look at us as anything of significance, man. They make mockery, you know, you know, you don't had niggas, you know, going all the way back from uh what Mike Epps, you know what I'm saying, making mockery, making parodies of the Hebrew Israelites. You have other clowns out there on TikTok trying to make parodies of the prophets, you know what I'm saying? Oh man, them dudes they don't know anything, man. They need to get a job, man. They need to get a fucking job, yo. They need, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the damn day. Y'all need to get some women, man. Wish we got women, nigga. And we got jobs at the end of the day. Who who the fuck to be proud to have a fucking job, nigga. When we royalty, man. We only supposed to fucking work. But you got a damn Stockholm Syndrome stupid nigga up there running his big ass mouth talking about get a job. We got job. We got a lot of a lot of brothers got better jobs than y'all niggas, man. What the hell you damn talking about, nigga? How the hell we gonna make it a camp every week? You think we walk, you think bros walk the damn camp every goddamn week and shit? You know, on foot on foot and shit, bro? We we, we, we foot soldiering the damn camp every damn week, huh? You know, how, you know what I'm saying? How the hell, you know, we, we, we can record videos, man. Don't we need goddamn fucking um, cameras and cell phones and shit to record videos to go fucking live, bro? You know what I'm saying? Don't cell phones, don't, don't, you know, do we, do, you know, don't we have to pay for a cell phone bill or whatnot? Man, get, get the fuck out of here, man. That's why I say, man, this gospel is head to Jake, bro. Jake, like I said, man, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the damn day, going back to Hosea, Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for what? Lack of knowledge, man. And no sooner when Esau put the full court press on their ass and, you know what I'm saying, America go on fucking full lockdown, then niggas want to search and they want to find answers, man. Because it's going to come a time the way this word and this truth is not going to be accessible, man. You see what Esau is doing to the internet, how he trying to regulate regulate the internet, social media, you know what I'm saying? Trying to trying to cut uh, freedom of speech, all right? You know, over there in Canada, you know what I'm saying? That, that bill with that S, what, 367 bill? The way, you know what I'm saying, um, they want to ban the Bible, all right? At the end of the day, they want to weaponize the Bible and ban the Bible, demon the Bible, a hate book at the end of the day. And all that's going into, you know what I'm saying, you know, they're trying to, trying to uh, quiet, they, try, they really want to come after the prophets, man, all right? You know, and, we, and when this devil do that, that's we going to uh, force the hand of Yahweh Bashim al the Most High going to set that standard right before his fucking face, man. These damn Edomites, bro. See, Jake don't even understand that until... You know what I'm saying? When Jacob Trouble hit him right in the fucking head, then they gonna understand, bro. Then they gonna understand. Here it is. They don't even, Jake don't even consider, man. Like, damn, man, he may have been on the highways and the corners. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, damn, like something basic. Like, here it is. Why did a so called white man paint the image of himself to be the Lord and God? And he made movies of himself where he was the most high. He was the children of Israel. You know, going to school, going to Bible study when you were little, when you were lost to the fact of the knowledge of who you were. 
man, you're going to school, you had those picture Bibles and, and, and all the and all the Hebrew Israelites and God and the angels all look like fucking Edomites and shit to the point we thought it was fucking Edomites and shit, bro. We thought God, we we thought we thought the most high, we thought we thought the children of Israel was so-called white people, man. And and in actuality, they were fucking the wicked. They were the damn Edomites of the scriptures, bro. The Edomites were the wicked, bro. At the end of the day. And Jake won't even consider like that. When I read Revelation, they bringing out the scriptures. The color scriptures, you know what I'm saying? Revelation first chapter, with Lord had hair as wool. You know what I'm saying? You know, his, you know what I'm saying? His, you know, the color of his feet was a color of brass, as if it they burned in the furnace. And Jake don't even consider, like, damn, the Lord is a so-called dark-skinned man. It said that the Lord, he came from out of the, the tribe of Judah. So if the Lord is dark-skinned man, then it's fair to say that, you know what I'm saying, the Hebrew Israelites, they're a dark-skinned nation of people at the end of the day. All right, don't get it twisted, even though you're going to have Jake that's being scattered, Israelite foreigners that being scattered amongst the other heathen nations. And you, you're not going to have all Israel that are going to come back looking like, you know what I'm saying, the original Hebrew Israelite, a natural Hebrew Israelite, man. At the end of the day, you're going to have some uh, Israelites that are going to be looking like some Edomites, man. All right, the so-called white man, so-called Jewish people, you believe it or not. Gonna have Jake them be looking like Ham Mice, Elam, all right, you know, wherever Jake, you know what I'm saying, because Jake is scattered throughout the four corners, man. All right, you know, and see, that's a mystery too, man. That's a mystery. A lot of these Jakes that supposed to be prophets, supposed to be men of the Lord, they can't even get, they don't even understand, man, at the end of the day. You know, they don't understand the, the time of the Karagma, which he saw showing right in their face. Every damn thing is going digital, the fourth uh, industrial age or whatnot. Every damn thing going digital. So they don't know, you know what I'm saying? Jake don't know the measure of time through the scriptures. Like, oh man, you know what I'm saying? This this right here, or Revelation 13, 16, and 17 right here. You know what I'm saying? We we just that much more close. You know what I'm saying? Jake don't even know how to measure the time. Even though Yahweh Shemaf Shah had the prophets out, what be times early, man? All right, starting with the elders, apostles, a great millstone to the elder bishops on down to us, man. All right, brothers of uh, the elders of 07 on down to us, man. All right. See, see, these, it's a blessing, man, for our eyes to be open, man. All right. It, it's a blessing for us not to be offended in this knowledge and this truth. You know, and we say, and we say, and we, we boast, and we, we say it proudly, man. And we, and we, how about you, Mahasha? You know what I'm saying? We, we the chosen people. We better than all these other fucking nations. All right. And how about you, Shah is only dealing with the elect of our people, because two thirds not going to come to this knowledge. They ain't going to come to this understanding, man. All right. You know, they're not going to hearken. Even our own family, man, at the end of the damn day. Oh, man, he just, you know, that's his perception. That's his perception. That's what they believe. That's their perception and whatnot. They got their truth, and, and, and we got our truth. Well, we're going to see who got the truth at the end of the day, bro. You know what I'm saying? We're going to see who got the truth, man. All right. And, and we and we are prophesying through the spirit of Yahweh Shema Vashah before it, before, before it happened, man. We tell you what's going to happen before it happened. We told you that Vicky 19 was going to come and they're going to shut Babylon down, man. Start with those apostles to those bishops on down us, man. We we, 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 we prophesied through the spirit of Yahweh Shema Vashah and did not, did not, uh, Babylon was locked down. We told you, don't, don't take the Beetlejuice. And what happened? A lot of y'all took the damn beauty juice. And what happened, man? A lot of y'all ain't been the same since, man. You saw them took that God gene from your ass, man. All right. A lot of you mysteriously having all types of health issues. A lot of you done dropped dead and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know? All right. A lot of you haven't been the same since you took that, man. All right. At the end of the damn day. And would y'all going to be the same ones to take the goddamn Karagma, which we giving you a warning on Revelation 13, 16, and 17, the mark of the beast. All right. When Esau killed his damn dollar bill, man. All right. And he looking to what? You know what I'm saying? Put put that mark, man. You know where he thinks you can be his perpetual slave. Which wants about to bring this fucking devil up out of power any damn way. The devil ain't got he ain't got no a couple of seconds left in this damn kingdom, man. All right, you know, for he have his hell to pay at the end of the damn day, which, which that's coming. You know what I'm saying? You know, but see, Jake don't even know they have their faith and trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. They're gonna they're gonna have their faith and trust in Egypt, just like the same niggas that had their trust in Esau taking that damn beetle juice. The same niggas when that when you know what I'm saying when all hell you know what I'm saying when you ain't got when the most high drawing that line y'all about your mashah drawing that line the hour of temptation man if you gonna take that mark when Esau you know what I'm saying put that full court press hey if you ain't got that mark you got that karagma you know what I'm saying you know you ain't gonna be able to uh, exist in our society and plus we gonna make it you know what I'm saying a fucking damn crime and shit you know what I'm saying which is gonna be punishable to death by guillotine if you don't have the karagma man and a lot of you Jake gonna fucking fold man because wisdom and knowledge and stability you know what I'm saying I mean the wisdom and knowledge ain't gonna be the stability for y'all because you know what I'm saying like I said y'all ain't been getting yourself built up in y'all about how we shot bro you ain't been praying you ain't been fasting you ain't been praying and, and praying without ceasing praying every day for y'all about your mouth shot not to take a cock from you 
You know what I'm saying? You just ain't being considerate at the end of the day like that, man. The things that they're saying, let me look into certain things that they're saying or whatnot, man. All right. You know, they going in the scriptures, breaking it down, going into the entomology of the words. You know what I'm saying? You know, daggone. I wonder why Esau always taking down the dog on videos all the time. It got to be something. Why, why Esau taking down their YouTube pages, man? If they ain't got the truth and they're not bringing any, if there's no validity of what we are saying out of the scriptures, we're not breaking down the words and the mysteries of these scriptures that Yahweh Bashima Rashad put the spirit upon us, you know what I'm saying? And, and able to go ahead and have the hundred percent truth on the elders apostles, the great millstone to the elder bishops on down to us, man. If you tell me saying that, man, turn the fucking channel, bro. That's the truth at the end of the damn day. I'm going to keep bringing it out like that. Great millstone through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Rashad had the hundred percent truth, man. At the end of the day, man. All right. You know, and, and, and like I said, and other, other brothers, that, 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 you know, other, other affiliates that come in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim al Rashad, they don't have great millstone in their name, but they teach 100% doctor in this world too. All right. You know, all right. So you're going to, you know, and not, a, you know, we ain't just saying the elect only at great millstone. No, we're not saying that. You're going to have the elect that going to be, you know, they're going to be amongst the other Israelite camps as well too. And they, and, and most of going to put that switch on. Really, that switch going to come on a lot of you damn jakes when that mark of the beast, man. Oh, great. Who, who only Hebrew Israelite camp that's bringing out? You know what I'm saying? The Karagma, man, or the Mark of the Beast, which is the Karagma, all right? Gray millstone at the end of the day. So it ain't going to be hard to tell. Y'all going to know who the true men of the Lord are, bro, in, in, in that day and that time, man. Y'all about to my shot going to make it known, man. All right, that's when you, Jake, a lot of you, Jake, going to get it, but it's going to be too late for a lot of you damn niggas, man. When Amos 8 and 11 come in effect, man, which we coming into that time, man. All right, the famine of the word, man. We, we just that much more closer, man. All right, to the famine of the word, man. But everybody ain't meant to get this knowledge and understanding, man. Y'all about to my shot. Got an angel blocking some of you damn niggas, man. Blocking, blocking your spiritual eyes and you and your spiritual ears the way you can't see or be able to hear or be able to receive this knowledge and this truth, man. So we don't get mad when you be on our comment boards and telling us, hey, y'all, y'all need to find a better way to, to push out to push out y'all message. Y'all can be a hell of a lot more, you know what I'm saying? Um, y'all can be more uh, profitable if y'all do it this way, y'all do it that way, but yet. Somebody trying to give us some fucking advice. Eat. Y'all about my shot told us what to fucking do, bro. All right. You know what I'm saying? Go out there in them highways and byways and spare or not. We ain't about sparing no feelings. We ain't about being PC, man, at the end of the damn day. A nigga want to tell you how to do the, you know, how, how to be a, a man of the Lord, but his ass ain't doing shit, bro. He's sitting on his fucking ass, man. He ain't got no YouTube page set up where he pushing out videos, man, and edifying, man, and giving warning to Israel from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. They're not doing that. Jake ain't even fucking considering. Like, damn, he man been out here in the hot. He be out here in the fucking cold. You know what I'm saying? When it's fucking raining and shit. They consistently doing videos. All right. You know what I'm saying? From El Apostle Tahar. You know, 38 plus years, 38, 39 plus years and counting, man. On down, on, on down, man. All right. You know, we being diligent in season, out of season. And Jake can't even consider it, man. And why they not considering, even though it's right there in their face? Because y'all about your mouth shot, hear the truth from them, man. All right. They look at the men of the Lord of no value at the end of the day, bro. All right. So if the so-called white man said it and said, oh, them men on the highways and byways, you know what I'm saying? You know, they, they got the true testimonies of the Lord. Then our people will believe it, man. Showing you how lost these niggas are, bro. Showing you how lost these niggas are, man. Esau got to tell Jake that they're the people of the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Then they'll listen when they have their own people of their own nation, of their own nation. You know, through the spirit of how about you, my shot, giving us a warning, warning you simpletons, those simpletons out there, and they don't believe, man. At the end of the day, but we read in the scriptures, man. You know, we don't get mad. We understand through through um, Bible prophecy. Two thirds of our people ain't gonna get this knowledge and understand. We just read it, man. This gospel is here. The two thirds of our people, man. All right. So, like I said, it's a blessing for us every day we wake up. For Yahweh Bashim Al Shah Spirit, is Rakadash should be upon us, man. For our eyes to be open where we can, we know how to navigate, and we, you know, as we know how to move in this fucking wicked ass matrix, bro. All right, you know. But with that, I want to say shallow arm, shallow arm to the full leg, shallow arm, shallow arm, shallow arm.